So hey everyone, um, I know it isn't Tuesday, it is actually Wednesday, but I'm Teresa and I'm here with your marketing tip for the day. Um, I think sometimes uh, Facebook just makes it too easy. Um, we know that we can go out to our business page and we can make a post and it's done in less than five minutes. And so therefore it's just like, well, now we've, we've done our social media for the day and let's wait for someone to interact with us. Let's wait for... Um, a sale to be made and so forth and so on um, and why would I need to pay someone else to do my social media for me well a lot of business owners especially those who are um, doing a service often need to be able to do their service and not have to worry about their marketing or you know they'll, they'll hire someone to do their accounting and such because they are working on their business and they want to provide the best service possible to their clients so um, I know some business owners that have hired people to do their social media um, and you know, depending on what they're doing it could be good or it could be bad and a lot of times you know people are are hesitant to hire someone to do their social media or to do their marketing period because they think that that person is just going to take their money and give them nothing in return for it. Um, and again, sometimes that's true um, depending on who you're working with and what their capabilities are and what their knowledge is. And sometimes you get more bang for your buck than you ever realized and are, are, are quite happy with what you're getting. Um, but case in point, what I want to just talk about is, again, what I had shared out in the group the other day. For those that will be getting this via email, you may not have seen it. Um, even for those that are in the group, they may not have seen it either. But essentially, Facebook is changing their algorithms. Again, you know, uh, as I said, m media and social media um, marketing and social media are always evolving and always changing and it's good to have somebody that uh, can stay on top of that and I'm actually part of a, a bigger group in which we all share what we what we learn and are able to stay on top of the latest greatest things so one of the latest things that Facebook is doing is they're going to be changing up the algorithm such that for the user experience they're going to see more things from their friends and family versus from business pages so what this means to businesses is that your organic reach when you go out there and you take five minutes and make a post or share a picture or what have you um, it's not going to get to your targeted audience as much as you have been seeing and what that's going to do is basically push business owners to do more paid advertising which of course that's how Facebook makes their money so that's part of how part of it but also anything that is engaging that will be able to still make it out there it still may not have quite as much reach but there is going to be a much larger focus on engagement with your audience so if you're just going out and posting you know here's our latest shirt um, here's my latest service here's my phone call um, or my phone number so give me a call that type of thing that's not going to get out there it's, it's basically not going to cut it the way that it has been um, and it is going to be changing and so therefore we're going to have to start thinking a little bit harder about what we're posting and how we're posting and how we're interacting with people so um, for someone that has the shirt you know you might go out and say here's our latest shirt here's our latest design um, vote below uh, what you think of it or you know give us a high five if if you like this design or you know basically something that's going to encourage people to interact with your post um, and to take advantage of just engaging with you and having a conversation um, for someone that's got a service um, you might instead of just saying you know please call my number if you need this that or the other done you might you know again think out of the box you know here's the latest thing that um, we've been able to do or you know check out this recent job that I did you know hands up or high fives or you know give me a, a on a scale of one to ten what do you think you know is this a good job is this you know just something out of the box thinking and something that's going to encourage people to engage with your post with your page so that's what we want to do um, and again sometimes it's hard to come up with those types of things those types of ideas and especially if you're a new business just starting out um, it's hard to think about you know what should I be posting how should I be engaging with um, but what I always tell clients you know think about what the problem is what the pain point is for your client and then think about your solution excuse me <coughs> I didn't mean to cough here on live um, camera but anyway excuse me for that but as I said um, be thinking about what is the pain point of your client and what solution can you offer and why is it 
that you are offering the best solution. So that's kind of what you need to think about um, as far as your marketing and and you know write down some. A lot of people sometimes just don't want to write down what their ideal client is, but if you write down exactly who you're wanting to do businesses do business with, chances are as you target them through your marketing, that's who you're going to be able to get, and you'll be much more happy with your business relationships too. So that's your Tuesday tip for today, actually, on Wednesday, so I know I'm a little bit late. But um, another thing, just thinking about today too, and especially if you are a business owner who's in their shop today and you're not getting a lot of foot traffic um, due to snow or you know that type of thing, because um, it is a snowy day here in Virginia, and if you have a slow day, it's all the more reason to take a moment and think about your social media, think about what you're posting, and you know, map out. Map it out as to what you'd like to post over the next several days. Um, there are so many different things to do, so many different ways you can create what's called a sales funnel um, so that you can kind of attract people and work them through that process to a sale. Um, and, you know, segment them to find out, you know, who's interested in what product. There are so many different things. And that's kind of what I love about marketing, again, is that it's always changing. And there's so many different ways to, you know, help people along the way and to get, you know, connect the person with what they're looking for. I like being able to help people. So um, I think of marketing in that way as far as helping people to connect with the things that they're looking for um, to service them or whatever maybe is a product that they're wanting. So again, um, these are your marketing tips for today. There's kind of several thrown in there. Um, but again, if you need help, I always encourage just email me back, reply to the email that I send out or, you know, get in our Facebook group and just ask questions. Um, I'm glad to carry on conversations with you guys. I'm glad to offer advice. Um, again, I love small businesses and I'm here to help as best I can. And if I don't know the answer, then I'll walk alongside of you and help you to find that answer. So again, my name is Teresa. And if you need any kind of help uh, with marketing, uh, please feel free to drop me a line, give me a call. And I will talk to you later. If you've not gotten outside and got to enjoy the snow and you like it, then I encourage you to go out and enjoy it. Me, I'm, I'm waiting for spring at this time. But uh, have a great day, everybody. Stay warm and enjoy the day.